Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Those five Hutchinson teenagers accused of threatening to commit a school shooting were scheduled to make their first appearance in court today. We have Cakes Ben Jordan live in Hutchinson with details of what happened in court today. Ben? Susan, Chris, while well, all five of those teens were scheduled to make their first appearances here at the Reno County Courthouse, Four of those teens waived that right and remain in the detention facility, but that leaves one who went through with the hearing as he asked to be released for a lack of probable cause. It was a tense morning in this Reno County courtroom as 16-year-old Dakota Bowman made his first appearance. This is a group of five individuals that have formed a group called KYOD, Kill Yourself or Die. The state prosecutor was quick to share her stance, revealing new information into the investigation of alleged school threats made by the five teens on Facebook. We're talking on the internet, on the social media, um, about a shooting plan for the last day of school. Prosecutor Cheryl Allen says the five teens now claim the school threats were all a joke, but the evidence found is far too serious. They have often referred to themselves as a bunch of Clyvolds. Allen asked that Bowman stay in detention. On the other side of the table, his attorney says Bowman should be released. My client knows these kids, but there's nothing in the information that I've been provided with the state and that I could provide the court this morning that would indicate he was involved in any plot whatsoever. The judge says there's more than enough probable cause to keep him detained in the detention facility. While many Hutch students are still shocked by the allegations, a group is showing their support for the five teens wearing free KYOD shirts in the courtroom. Connor Eve started the free KYOD group. He says this was a joke taken too far and it shouldn't come with criminal charges. I feel horrible for them. I, I, I'm scared for them, really. Many Hutch parents say joking or not, this has to be taken as a serious threat. In this day of age, you ain't got time to be joking about stuff like that. You know, so many kids have been shot up in schools. Susan, Chris, that means all five teens remain detained. Now, the district attorney says these, uh, these five teens are not currently not being charged as adults, but that could change if new information comes forward. Right now, we're live in Hutchinson. Ben Jordan, Cake News.